lot of people of God. We thank God for yet another beautiful day in His presence. The Bible always uses a lot of metaphors. And this morning or last night, I was reading about the story of Sarah and Hagar again. And this time, I guess that metaphorically, you know, Jesus was saying that we are not children as children of God and people who have accepted Jesus as Christ and Lord of their of their lives are no longer children of the slave woman which is Hagar. We use Hagar to you know represent the children of slavery but we are children of the promise which came from you know Sarah. Remember sin is just plain disobedience to God you know and I believe even when Abraham received the promise he couldn't wait and you know as we all sometimes do you know decided to help God along and so you know Hagar who was the servant you know was you know it was not because he was a servant or it's not because you know he was a slave of Abraham and Sarah but because I believe it was the sin the disobedience with which the act of it with which you know which was a, 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 a an act of disobedience that why you know the Bible used you know children of slavery rather than the physical act of being a servant or you know at the time where in the Abrahamic time where the you know people were slaves as you you would say he was using he said because the Bible says sin enslaves us but Jesus Christ comes to you know set us free you know um, so I believe you know the Bible was talking about the fact that we are no longer children of this of slavery children of Hagar but we are children of Sarah which you know have been redeemed and saved because ch uh, the children of Sarah are children of the promise that's what God promised us if you are children of promise that means whatever was true for you know Abraham is also true for us he said I will bless you I will bless your offspring I'll make you great that that's why we, we sing the song Abraham's blessings are mine you know as children of God God said he has became he has become poor that we may be rich he has be, he has taken away our sins that we may become the righteousness of God he has come to die for us that we will no longer die but live eternally with him so everything that was you know bad God changed it around in the form of Jesus Christ we thank God for yet another day another day we lift his name higher Lift his name higher, lift his name higher, lift his name higher, lift his name. Oh, shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.